So this report from CNBC last year that said that you violated stock disclosure law nine times, that's not right, accurate? Um, I did fail to um, um, file a report in my first year that I thought was supposed to be filed at the end of the year and had to have been filed three months earlier. So I was late. That was Since taking office in January of 2021, Secretary Granholm has violated the Hatch Act multiple times. She's owned Proterra stock while her boss, President Biden, repeatedly promoted the company. We saw this huge payout. Uh, she admitted three months after she took office. Her husband owned Ford stock while she personally promoted the company's work with official resources, and she cashed in on millions of dollars after these illegal transactions and failure to disclose obvious conflicts, conflicts were revealed. As you said, you, it took you uh, three months before you actually sold the stock. And most critically, she lied under oath to Congress, claiming she did not own any individual stocks when, in fact, she did. What the fuck? First of all, let me say that we take ethics. That's a yes very, or no question. Do you think if someone violates very, the ethical laws set forth in this, that you took, you said you signed a statement, uh, an ethical statement that you would comply with the laws? Do you think that a DOE employee or other federal employee who violates these laws should step down from that position? Is that that's a yes or no? If they violate the ethics laws, I understand forth, what you're need. trying to do. Well, here. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm asking trying, you a specific no, question. Okay, you have, so you're not going to answer made the question. A number of allegations that I feel I, I've put against me I'm personally. A, this is that my I, time, Mr. I, I, I know, Mr. Chairman. But she's running wild, man. You've um, made these out there, and I feel it let is me important just, to respond. Let me respond. just tell you, this is what you you uh, you did not answer the yes or no question. You obviously believe that it's okay to violate the ethics rules. Of course, I do not believe it's but okay let's, let's to violate it, ethics laws. It, nor does anyone else in the right, Department so, of Energy. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. This is my time. So what you're trying to say is afterwards, once I realized and I spoke to Congress that I was not telling the truth about what was happening, I went back and admitted, oh, I made a mistake. So admitting the truth after being caught lying doesn't actually cure perjury. I don't know if you know that legally. I know you're an attorney. Oh! And that's simple. That's, that's perjury, period. Why should you not resign, or why should we not consider uh, some kind of impeachment inquiry into you for your perjury charges? We've done that with presidents of the United States in the past. Number one, I made a mistake when I testified saying that I had sold all stock. I honestly so, thought we had. So wait, but I was so, wrong. so I'll reclaim my so, time. You're a lawyer. You know that perjury. You cannot go you back and say I made a mistake. Perjury exists when you give a false statement under oath, which you did. Oh, did you not? No. That you not intentionally. I thought we had divested of all stocks. We had divested of all. Look, this is this is the colossal ego stocks. of this administration that people and the American people are frustrated with. You serve the American people. You don't serve President Biden. You don't serve a special interest. You serve the American people. Of and course. We would appreciate you coming forward on this. I am coming forward if you would let me explain. Uh, Look, I made appointees with lesser conflicts, honestly, would have withdrawn their nomination or they would resign from office. Thank you, I yield back. Pardon me, Mr. Perfect! I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. You're fired. Get out of here. Break down. Take down, you're busted.